After what I went through to win that limbo contest, I have to pry this out of my cold, dead hands. Well, far be it for me to come between a boy and his trophy. All right, let me help you to bed. Why is it those words lack their usual thrill? Usual thrill? You've heard those before, huh? Yeah, well, you fell for the oldest trick in the book. The damaged seventh lumbar routine. Oh, gosh. Silly moi. All right, lead the way. You know, I think I can hobble up there on my own, but thanks for bringing me home. My pleasure. Thank you for a very unusual evening. My pleasure, indeed. <laughs> I'll see you out. Ow. Oh, 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 oh. All right. That's it. To the bedroom, I insist. Well, I just love that authoritarian tone. Come on. Grab your... Yes, grab your trophy. Uh, oh, watch ooh, 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 that's good. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Courtney, yeah. Courtney, no, listen to me. It's me, mm -hmm. Joe. You were stung by a sea urchin. Do you remember? No. Listen, you're yeah. very sick. We were going to go get help on the raft. Do you remember any of that? Some. Rest sounds good. No, rest. Keep your eyes open. Look at me. Courtney, you need to stay awake, okay? I'm going to put um, some aloe vera on your foot, and then we need to get you to a hospital. You know what I'm going to say, Joe? All right? Stay with me. Uh -huh. This is gonna hurt a little bit. Sorry. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm almost done. Right there. There. Thanks. I wish I could do more. You can. John. Promise me. Promise me you'll look after Neil. Hey, listen to me. We will both be able to look after Neil for many, many years. It hurts. I know. So much. I know. Listen to me. You need to stay with me, all right? Don't go anywhere. Courtney, Courtney, open your eyes. Listen to me. Listen to me. Neil needs you, okay? He needs both of us, alive and well. It hurts. Wasn't it grand of Shanshi to provide us with this chopper? Well, if it's as old as this flight here, we're in trouble. It's true, we could use a little night sight technology. Joe could be right under here and we'd never see him. doing here? We wanted to check on you. Long time no see. I'd be best if I stayed away. You should have listened to your first instincts. We were friends once. Just wanted to see how you were. Not all that great. I believe Greg's lies when he told me he was my brother. I have no idea what's real anymore. But you realize that you're not Marsha Cooper? I figured that out when Greg tried to kill me. That must have been a big shock to you. I killed five people for that man. You could say that. What Greg did to you was beyond evil. <clears throat> I let him use me. You were vulnerable and he took advantage. I still killed five people. All the rationalizations in the world won't make that go away. We're not trying to rationalize this. We're just trying to find some way to put one foot in front of the other. And I think that you should do that too. Oh, did I ask for your advice? No. You didn't. Karen and I both realized that nothing can be figured out in one day, but we oh, still... Oh, hey, yeah, sure it can. I've got it. Karen can give me a full frontal lobotomy that'll make me 100% better, and you two can break your arms patting each other on the back for fixing me. We're not trying to fix you. We're just trying to help you in any way that we can. Oh, great! Hi, I'm Julie Devlin, serial killer. We know who you are. And if you still give a damn about me, you're sicker than I am. Frank, maybe I should go. Look, I have some family business to take care of, and when I get back, I could come see you again. 
Don't bother. I don't want any more visitors. That includes you. According to my calculations, we should be very close to the spot where we saw the campfire. Oh, I wonder if that campfire was a mirage. The island looks deserted. Well, let's walk along the beach and see if we can find any tracks. Okay, yes. Somebody help! What? Joe! Oh, look! Oh, my God, Joe! Oh, Joe! You are a sight for the sore spine! Mom, Victor, how in the world? You don't think we combed the globe looking for you? Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, but listen, Courtney is very ill, Mom. What happened? She was stung by a sea urchin. Oh, good heavens. The Unimo species found in these waters can be quite deadly. Oh, she isn't going to shock. Well, there's not a moment to lose, Mary. Go back and, and, and gather some of those yellow blossoms from that bush that we just passed. Uh, may I ask why? It's calendula. It makes an excellent poultice when crushed. Listen, I already cleaned out her wound the best I could. What she needs now is a systemic treatment. Uh, uh, perhaps she would respond well to a, a tea made out of grape seeds. You know what, you're right. Grape seeds should work. With any luck, we might be able to find an arbor on this island. Well, yeah, this sounds fine, but shouldn't we get her to a hospital? Oh, no, no, no. Sure, this would be successful. I've seen it work before. I said, I don't, it's worth a shot. I don't think Courtney can make it to a hospital. Um, I saw some grapes on the ridge back there. I'll go collect some. I'll get the calendula. Okay. Hey, listen, there's a gourd on the fire back at the campsite. You can use it to heat water. I'm going to take her back to the campsite, and then I'm going to get some grapes. Let's hope that the grapes are ripe enough for the seeds to be potent. I'm going to give you a hand here. All right. Okay, I'll wait here for Mary, and I'll join. All right. Oh, boy. I got you. Oh, watch your foot. Watch your foot. Look at all these. Oh, watch out. There's a book on the floor. Uh, right there. I, oh, Step right over I it. See it. Watch I see that it. Okay. one. There's a big I, one. I got it. I got it. All right, it. Kevin, okay. have you ever heard of bookshelf? Well, I like surrounding myself with knowledge. Besides, I do my best thinking in this room. I'll bet you do. <sighs> All right, wait, wait, wait. Let me fluff some of these. Oh, no, Eve, back. really, it's not yes, necessary. Yes, 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 you don't okay. have to do that. I want to. All I right. want to. Here, I'll make it all nice and comfy for you. There. Okay, now get in there. Oh, that's like a regular throne. Well, after all, you are the, uh, the limbo king. Mm, don't you forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, uh, put this over here. Right here on this table so you can, you can gaze at it lovingly. I don't suppose you could bring it closer. I, I can't touch it over there. <laughs> Anything for my king. There you are. Thank you. All right, let me clean up some of these books. No, really, Eve, that's not necessary. You don't have to well, do that. Listen, Kevin, if you get up in the middle of the night and you trip over these books, there won't be anyone here to help you. Hmm. Ooh, wow, case studies on schizophrenia. A little light reading, huh? Well, it makes me feel healthier by comparison. <laughs> what else have you got down here? Oh. Do well, you have one of my biographies there? Not quite. Let's see. I think I'm going to have to read you a bedtime story. Maybe I should wait for you in the hallway. Finally! Progress! Bye, Julie. Uh, I'll check to make sure our flight to Greece is on time. I know you're scared, but I'll see to it that you get all the attention you need. I tried to kill your brother, Frank. I tried to kill Joe by sticking a sword in him. I almost blew up your mother in an elevator. Any of this sounding familiar? No one is denying that you did terrible things, but the responsibility isn't all yours. Cooper had a hand in it, and I even played a part. If I had found you sooner when Cooper kidnapped you a year ago, none of this would have happened. All these months, I should have seen that you were in trouble sooner. Yeah, what, you feel guilty? Think you should have been the macho man who protected the little woman? Guilt is not the reason I'm here. But is the baby keeping you here? If so, you should know I lied about that. I was only using you to get me out of jail. Yeah, I figured that one out already. But why do you still care? 
Let's just say I don't think it's fair the way your life turned out. It shouldn't have happened. And I think somebody should give you a hand. I don't want anything from you. Not your pity, not your help. Don't visit me again. Guard, I'd like to go. I think we've got enough grape seeds. We'll let it steep until the tea is ready. The fever is spiking. We need to make this happen as soon as possible. Well, I'm sure it'll be successful. I've seen it work before. Now, which part of the flower do I smush to make the pearls? The petals. You are such a fine gent to be marooned with. Yeah, what is it with these survival skills? Well, I could tell you, but then, well, of course... you have to kill me, right? Something like that. Your own survival skills are nothing to sneeze at. You've done a fine job keeping body and soul together here. Well, I'm no closer getting Neil back from the canalysis. You must be so worried about yeah, it. I don't even want to talk about it. I, I could punch my fist right through a wall. Oh. Yeah, that's why there aren't any buildings on this island. The first batch of tea is ready. All right, here, I'll raise your head. All right. Don't let it get too hot. No, it's not. Easy. Easy. Okay. There you are. Just, just drink a little bit. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Now, the whole tooth is ready whenever right, you listen, want. Uh, Mom, will apply it in the helicopter. I think the tea should make her stable enough to get her to mainland. And Victor, what can I say? You are a lifesaver. Let's save the compliments until we're actually saved. Let's get in. All right. Here. Let me give you a hand here. Can I help? Yes. Yeah. Take this. I will. Okay. Here we go. Good. Here we go. Right this way. You got the price I got? I got the clutch. All right. Good. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Now, <clears throat> where were we? What is making you smirk like that? The Complete Poems of Emily Dickinson. Boring case study, huh? No, I was getting in touch with my feminine side. I'm sure you were. You know, this book just happened to open to a certain page. Shall I refresh your memory? Be my guest. Wild nights, wild nights. Were I with thee, wild nights should be our luxury. Futile the winds to a heart in port. Done with the compass, done with the chart. Rowing in Eden, ah, the sea. Might I but moor tonight in thee. Pretty hot stuff for a Victorian, huh? You know, all of a sudden, I'm not sleepy at all. Well, maybe I should go back to a boring case study. It's too late. I'm wide awake. Maybe I should dim the lights. There. Now maybe you'll get sleepy. May I use this to read by? What's mine is yours. There we go. Maybe I should go back to something more soporific. You think so? Oh! Oh, what's oh, wrong? What's oh, wrong? Oh, 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 poor baby. Oh, no, no, I'm fine. It's like oh. heat seeking missiles going up my spine. Oh, man. Oh. Is there anything I can do for you? Actually, there is, but I hate to ask. Come on, Kevin. We've been held hostage together. You can ask me anything. All right. I don't want you to take this the wrong way. I mean, there's no subterfuge in this request at all, but I really could use a massage. I just saw Julie in the hallway. She wouldn't look at me. So what happened? She told me to take a hike. So much is going on with her right now. I guess she just can't deal with people. Yeah, well, that's fine for everyone else, but I am the one person who's stuck by her through this whole damn mess. So you think she owes you something? I, can't, I don't know what I think. 
You know, Julie's mind is in a million pieces right now, and I don't know how it works, but I'm pretty sure there's not a lot of rational thought going on. And who knows what's motivating her? It could be guilt, it could be shame, anything, really. No, the Julie that I knew is gone. There's only this shell of her left. She needs care that we can't give her. All we can do is leave her to the doctors, undo some of the damage. I mean, maybe they can reach her. If there's anything left to reach. Yeah. Frank, it's Victor Collins. Victor, where, where are you? In a helicopter. There's someone here who wants to speak to you. I'll patch him through. Hey, uh, so what'd you get me for Christmas anyway? Joe, you little jerk. We were beginning to think you were fish food. Joe, let me speak to him. Come on. No such luck. It is so good to hear your voice, man. Listen, you won't happen to know where Karen is, would you? Yeah, I sure do. Hold on. Joe, 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 is it really you? Hi, sweetheart. Do you miss me? I missed you so much. How are you? Are you okay? Where's Neil? Do you have him yet? I'm fine. We haven't found Neil yet, but we know where he is. I've been so worried about you. I cannot wait to get home to you. Oh, please, make it soon. Absolutely. I love you, Karen. I love you too. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. I miss you so much. Joe. Joe. I knew you'd save me. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. How does this feel? Oh, words fail me. Oh. I take it back. Good. Oh, that's very good. How's this feel? Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's good, I think. Uh, you can stop now. <laughs> Are you sure? Because I'm, I'm not really tired. Uh, no, no, no. It, it's not that. It's just... Uh, I think if you kept going, I don't think I could take any more. Okay, well, then I'll send you my bill in the morning. You know, in case no one's ever told you this, you have an unbelievable pair of hands. Soft, yet strong. Just think of all the lives they've stitched back together. Oh, yeah, the O.R., now that's romantic. Are we talking about romance? Us? No. Mm -mm. Well, you brought it up. yourself, Dr. Collins. Well, it's difficult to do with you here, Dr. Lambert. Then I think I should leave. Is there anything you want before I go? Yes. You? <laughs> Not in your condition. This isn't the way I expected the evening to turn out, you know. Well, Kevin, tomorrow is another day. I'll keep that in mind. You do that. Good night, Dr. Collins. Good night, Dr. Lambert.
It's open. Hey. Special delivery. I brought you raspberry croissants. Raspberry? That's my favorite. Thanks. Oh. Are you and your back friends again? Barely. Well, we didn't sleep a wink last night. Oh. Was the pain that bad? Funny thing is, after you left, I barely gave my back a second thought. My mind was on other things. So, when did you roll out of your feather bed? Well, uh, I'm not sure what time, but it was still dark. I was having some thoughts. I don't think I should be having them. Maybe I should. But anyway, then I realized I have been neglecting Jack's cosmetics so much that I, I wanted to get to it this morning. So, how's it going? It's going like a big fat tomato withering on the vine. I guess he was coming over before I go to school today. Uh, I don't know. Who? Flawed the, um... What do you call him again, Daddy? The paper restorer. The one that touched up the land grant that we brought back from Florida. The one I spilled coffee on. Hey, now wait a minute. That was not your fault, remember? And as I recall, wasn't there something under that grant? What do you think it could be? A treasure map. Welcome to the beautiful island of Heliopolis. They say the Canellas family has excellent taste in islands. Do you think anybody saw us land? I think they'll know we're here, I bet you. Oh. I think we should figure out if Neil is here, get him, and get out. Okay, well, I'll show you the way to the house. Hey, listen to me. You're not going anywhere, okay? That sting almost killed you. You need to take it easy. Courtney, you really should have taken me to a hospital. I am fine. I'm fine. The remedy Victor gave me worked wonders, and I am not going to a hospital or anywhere else until I get Neil back. I have no intention of leaving without me. We didn't see anybody when we landed. Do you think it's safe to stay here for a few hours? The terrain is very rugged. I doubt very many people even get to this part of the island. All right, well, then I say we get Neil. Somebody from the Canellas clan is bound to recognize you. Mom, I met those people briefly weeks ago. They're not going to recognize me with this beard. Well, look at the way you're dressed. Even if they don't recognize you, they'll think you're a bum. You won't get within 20 feet of that house. Victor, I saw a bag back in the helicopter. Can I borrow some clothes? Joe, Mary's right. If Neil spots you, that's the end of our cover. I'll reconnoiter the compound myself. You're not going anywhere without me. Joe, they have armed bodyguards everywhere. I came here to get my son. And I am not leaving until I do so. Mm. Now these are good. Mm. Make them yourself, did you? Oh. I was up all night. And you know, with your back out, I kept having these visions of you starving to death because you couldn't get up and make it to the bridge. Oh. Funny thing, after you left, I had nothing but visions of you, too. Thanks for coming over. So, just out of curiosity, do you like me better in real life? Oh, definitely. I don't suppose that you could find it in your heart to make room for another back rub today, could you? Oh, well, if you're good. But I think we should play doctor first. Do what you will. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's your aspirin and ice pack? Uh, okay, aspirin would be in a drawer somewhere in the kitchen. There's blue ice in the freezer. And, oh, you know, I wouldn't mind a cup of tea if you could. Okay, just tell me where it is. Uh, second cupboard on the right. Ta-da! Choose your poison. Oh, very funny. <laughs> All right, we've got echinacea tea, cinnamon tea, Golden seal tea, green tea, organic tea. My goodness, what's with all the teas? Okay, all right, all right. Um, are we going to abide by the no names of past loves policy, or would you rather have the truth? I'll take the truth for 100, please. Lucy belongs to the Herbal Tea of the Month Club. We have every tea from every corner of the globe. All right. Well, that's nice. You know, it's nice being able to receive something like that once a month. I, uh... I did the same thing with roses. But I could not find any aspirin. We've got flower essences, arnica gel, valerian root. 
All these herbs, am I, um, am I detecting a pattern here? Lucy preferred natural remedies. However, there should be something for back pain in the bathroom. Uh, I think you'll find it next to the bubble bath, which is next to the aromatherapy. I got it, I got it. So turn left at the flower bath mat, go straight until you hit the hot pink toothbrush holder, and there you will find some backache medicine right next to the hairbrush, all which once belonged to Lucy. Something like that. this stuff anyways it, it smells like horse manure <laughs> yeah, it actually kind of does but I need this desperately it's kind of a brain tonic tea I need all my neurons firing if I'm gonna come up with a new business plan here oh but I, I I thought everything was 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 going all right I mean what's with all of this all of a sudden here with this uh, Jack's cosmetics I thought that you were rolling along no no I'm actually rolling downhill I just went over my third and fourth quarters it's a complete nightmare. And they did this little study. You know how they do brand recognition value? Well, Jack's got the lowest rating in a long time because of that Rex Stanton when he tainted my purple product line. Yeah, well, I, I know you cut back, but I still thought everything was, was okay. No, it's not okay. And I also just got news. There's this Baxter Cosmetics and Arnell Corporation. They're merging. And they have always been my biggest competition since, gosh, deception. Well, now with this merger, they're going to try and put me out of business, which what they've been trying to do for years. Hey, Bunganad. Is Claude going to come over before I go to school? I want to see what happened with that map. Let me take a look at you for a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's got the fever. Oh, wait a minute, let me look. <gasps> yes, I see them dollar signs rolling around in her eyeballs. No, oh. mm -hmm. gold de balloons. <laughs> What's gold de balloons? That's pirate treasure, and you can only find it with a treasure map. That's what I'm hoping Claude found. Okay. Okay, I'm almost afraid to say this. But I really am tingling here. I have a very good feeling about this. When you reach the top, you're going to see a patch of boulders. You go straight towards them until you hit the road. And the compound's just about a mile from there, okay? Oh, I don't like the idea of either one of you going in, but at least they don't know you, Victor. You know, that place is loaded with armed guards. Right, which is exactly why Victor needs me to cover his back. As long as it's understood that I do all the talking. No, and Neil may not recognize you, but what if he responds to the sound of your voice? Right. What about the layout of the compound once we get in? Oh, it's, it's huge. What's the one place where we're most likely to find Neil? In his room. It's on the ground floor. He'll either be there or in the playroom, which is right off the main living room area. Now, Victor... Neil may not recognize you. He met you at the Halloween party, but you were wearing that samurai costume. Assuming he won't know me, then how will he know to come with me? He knows it's safe to go with someone who says our password. Which is? Double cheeseburger. Oh. A password only a little boy would love. I think we've got everything we need. Take heart. I'll come back. To return and return again is my life's only joy. Mm. Keep a light burning in the window for me. I know this kind of situation is old hat to you, but Victor, please be careful. D'accord. Oh. No, it may be impossible. But please, Mother, try not to worry. <sighs> Me not worry? You do know that's impossible. Be safe. Listen, Neil is going to be coming home with us, Courtney. I know. Let's go. Showtime. Mr. Canella! Your photos don't do you justice, sir. I was expecting a much older man. Uh, it's a great pleasure. It's a very great pleasure, sir. We were not expecting visitors, sir. You are? A Phillips. Dr. Sherman Phillips, a professor of archaeology, Brown University. You are a long way from home. Mrs. Canellos, I presume. And you are? Uh, this is Mr. Green, my, uh, my, my teaching assistant. He's a, a, an expert in, in underwater digging. I hope you are not planning a dive. This is a private home, Dr. Phillips, not government land. How do you come to be here? 
Good fortune and diligent research. It is whispered in the halls of academe that you have one of the most magnificent examples of Minoan architecture ever discovered. This is true, but we do not allow, allow research on a drop-in basis. What uh, period do you specialize in, Dr. Phillips? Neo-palatial, uh, Mr. Canellis, uh, but I dabble in Middle Minoan Crete from time to time. Of course, you have visited the site of Galatos. I'd be interested to know what you thought of that. Uh, Galatos was superb. Uh, uh, the, the, the most uh, remarkable demonstration of the aesthetics of the period uh, that I have ever seen. But I am told that uh, the temple on this island is, is like a Fabergé egg, small exquisite in detail, due in no small part to your uh, uh, diligent care. Well, I have always speculated there was more to find here. I'm done with my homework. Uh, Can I go to the playroom now? Of course, dear. Neil, say hello to Dr. Phillips and uh, Mr. Green. They are archaeologists interested in uh, uh, exploring the island. Do you guys look for dinosaurs? Oh, of course, uh, whenever I can. <laughs> seen you before. Uh, well, perhaps it was on my uh, public television show. I, I, I do a program called uh, In Search of, of Ancient Palaces. I haven't heard of it. I'm sorry. Here now, you run along. We'll call you for lunch. That's uh, quite a boy you have there. Perhaps you can join us for lunch. I would like to hear more about your work. All right, Claude, where do we start digging? Okay. Uh, hey, that looks like a dress pattern. That's exactly what it is. You mean a dress pattern's all that was hidden behind the ground? I'm afraid so. It's, it's antebellum, from what I can tell. It's fairly common. Is it worth anything? About $20. Oh, good grief. Hey, keep looking, Serena. You never know what you might find. Well, Claude, thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for nothing. I'm See ya. Sorry. Oh, shoot. I really wanted those gold doubloons. So much for that pirate ship. Yeah. Well, now, we, uh, we can still get a pirate ship. So go get your lunchbox. I'll take you to school, okay? Oh, pooey. She was so excited about treasure and everything. Yeah, I know, but... This actually is a nice little souvenir for me. Why is that? Well, because it reminds me of the time we spent in Florida in that mansion and the time the world stopped. It was very magical. Magical, huh? I thought it was a mistake. No, I... Hey! I'm ready. Buck up, bucko. I have my very own treasure and you are it and I'm so glad. Now, you go and have a great day. Don't think about it. Just study hard, okay? Okay. Okay. Come on, here's your coat. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, Pally. Yeah? I don't think things turned out so badly, did they? I don't think us getting together was a mistake. Hey, hmm? are you feeling as good as you're looking? Thanks to you, I'm starting to. I think I'm going to try sitting up. Let me help you with that. Oh, thanks. All right, here we go. Oh, that's good. That's good. Thank uh, wait you. A minute. Okay. okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Next stop, standing upright. All right. Kevin, <laughs> I know that uh, that we said we weren't going to discuss our former significant others, but I can't ignore this anymore. Ignore what? Well. A hundred years from now, if an archaeologist were to unearth the lighthouse, he would find a treasure trove of artifacts proving that Lucy Co. lived here. You know, I'd hoped that you would be spending some time here, but I haven't been able to anticipate it. I just haven't had the time to go through the house and eradicate my past. Lucy's alive in this house, and I can comprehend why. But you and Lucy have never done well in the same room together. Well, I have to get back to the hospital. 
Are you going to be okay? I'll be fine. is convincing, but I still maintain that the hand of the common man is to be found in the development of the Minoan palace. But our ruins prove otherwise. Well, I would like to be able to be the judge of that myself. Uh, what are the chances of my getting an opportunity to snoop around? Uh, that could be arranged. Brilliant! <laughs> you know, this food is delicious. Uh, my travels afford me the opportunity to taste the dishes of so many different cultures, but I still maintain that nothing can beat the taste of a good old-fashioned double cheeseburger. <laughs> you like hamburgers, don't you, Neil? Sure. But I like them plain. Well, Neil, you can't deny that there's something incredibly delicious about a double cheeseburger. I mean, I take one look at you, and I say, there's a young man who just loves a double cheeseburger. I want you to know I'm very grateful for everything you and Victor have done. There's nothing I wouldn't do for my son and my grandson. I understand. Do you? You and Joe almost got killed when that boat went down. Neil's been kidnapped. And only because you wouldn't tell the truth about Neil's paternity. I realize that. I missed eight years of my grandson's life. And Joe has missed years of his son's childhood. Mary, if I could go back and make different choices, I would. Well, all we can do Keep now... Keep your hands where I can see them. Move away from that supper. Now! What are you doing in your Florida dress? So? How do you think it looks? It looks as good as it did the first time you put it on. I, um, I bet you're wondering why I do have this dress on. Now that you mention it, I, I am wondering. You think that I believe that what happened between us in Florida was a mistake. I think it's a mistake to look at the situation in that way. Well, how are you looking at it now? as an opportunity, something very fortunate. What happened between us was good, very, very good. It was like fate just gave us this replay. And I don't want to waste it. You are an incredible man, Scott Baldwin. And I don't want to look back on this time and think about what we could have had. I want that time for us. Now. said you made things easy. 